Let's start with the announcement. What's your reaction to what you formally saying he's coming back? Uh, you know, we're going to him back with open arms, and uh, right now we're trying to concentrate on getting ready for Oregon State, though. Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, playing a team? You know, obviously you guys uh, handled it pretty well, but this is kind of do or die time. Yeah, we need to win the game, and uh, we know they want to get a win before the season's over. So uh, I know we know they're going to come out and play hard, and hopefully we can take care of business when we get up there. Jude, there was some talk that you might not come back if you're going back. Does that affect your decision one way or another? There's some talk about what? Who's ever coaching next year? Does that affect your decision? No, that doesn't affect my decision. I guess you didn't even who's back. Do you know who's back and who's yeah. not back? Oh, no, they're two really good coaches, and uh, that's definitely not going to factor into whether or not what I do. It seems like you bonded pretty well with Kay over there. Yeah, Kay's a great coach. He's a great guy, and, uh, you know, it's not. I'm really not worried about what is going to happen next year right now. Right now, I'm worried about what we're going to do this back that tournament. What did uh, you guys do exceptionally well against Oregon State that you need to repeat? Was it just one of those games you played well, well, Nick was back? You got to duplicate the same thing. Yeah, I think we just played really well. And, uh, you know, it's Nick's first game back. I think he played pretty well. So hopefully we can uh, bring that back out when we play them on t uh, Wednesday. With the chance to play four games in four days, do you have to do anything differently? Eat differently, sleep differently, practice differently? Uh, no, he's got to keep on playing hard. Uh, I think the main thing with us is we've got to continue to play hard. If we do, I think we're good enough to beat any team in the country. If you get up like you did last week against Oregon State early, I mean, if you anticipate you do, you, you get some rest, and they can get some rest, or maybe. Well, I, I, mean, it's kind of a I assume we would if yeah. you know if we got up like that. But you know, Oregon State's definitely not going to back down, and they're going to come out ready to play. Has, has this year, under the situation there's been with the coach and back and all that stuff, been a distraction to the point where you've been to now, where you're 18 and 12, 18, whatever it is? Uh, you know, I don't like to make excuses for us, and uh, I don't know what our teammates, what my teammates are going to say back, but I think uh, the result of what we're 18 12 and stuff in our play, you know, sometimes we haven't come out of focus as we should be, and that's shown, and uh, we've lost some games that I think we should have won, and that's, that's what's happened. And that's on you guys as a team. Yeah. Right? I think that's what it's, uh, it's on us. Do you guys feel like you've got to win at least one, maybe two, to get a turn? I don't know. I don't know, Bruce. I don't know. Is it, is it harder now with all those games coming up to try to keep, just keep your team focused on basketball and have any trouble with that at all? No, we just got to continue on basketball. Uh, I think we've had to do it this whole year, and hopefully we'll continue to do that.